Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my Taglish Step-by-Step Math Video Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss compound interest. We are going to compute compound interest, compute maturity value, and compute present value. Kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe sa channel na to, Click the subscribe button for more general mathematics video tutorials. The formula for maturity or future value is F equals P times the quantity 1 plus R raised to T. Where F now is the maturity or future value, P is the principal or present value, R is the interest rate and T is the term or time in years. And for the compound interest, we have compound interest is equal to maturity or future value minus principal or present value. Let's have example number one. Find the maturity value and compound interest if... 30,000 pesos is invested at 3% compounded annually for 6 years. So, ano yung hahanapin natin is the maturity value and compound interest. So, ano yung mga given natin sa problem? We have 30,000 pesos. Since yung 30,000 pesos is invested money, it is now our principal. Next is 3%. 3% is our interest rate or R. Yung percentage ay kailangan nating isulat into decimal. So, to convert 3% into decimal, i-move lang natin yung decimal point twice to the left. So, from this point, we have 1, 2. So, we have now 0.03. At yung 6 years ay yung ating time. So, unahin nating hanapin yung maturity value kasi hindi natin mahanap yung compound interest pag wala tayong maturity value. So, using the formula of maturity value, isubstitute lang natin yung ating mga given. So, future or maturity value is equal to our principal is 30,000 times the quantity 1 plus our rate is 0 0.03. Raise to our time is 6. So, simplifying this, we will have 35,821.57. Ngayon, hanapin naman natin ang compound interest using this formula. So, isubstitute lang natin yung value ng ating maturity value at yung principal or present value. So, compound interest now is equal to yung future value natin is 35,831.57 minus our principal or present value is 30,000. So, 35,821.57 minus 30,000 is equal to 5,821.57. Thus, 30,000 pesos invested at 3% compounded annually for 6 years will earn an interest of 5,821.57 pesos. Therefore, the money will grow to 35,821.57 pesos. Example number 2. Suppose your father deposited 10,000 in your bank account at an annual interest rate of 0.5% compounded yearly when you graduate from kindergarten and did not get the amount until you finish grade 12. How much will you have in your bank account after 12 years? So what is being asked in the problem is the maturity or future value. So what are the given in the problem? We have 10,000 pesos. Since 10,000 
entrances is a deposited money, it is now our principal. And we have the interest rate which is 0.5%. And percent must be written into decimal. So, para maging decimals, itong 0.5%, i-move lang natin yung decimal point twice to the left. So, from this point, we move 1, 2. So, we have now 0.005. And 3 years is our time. So, to find for the future or maturity value, we use this formula. So, i-substitute lang natin itong mga given to the formula. So, maturity value or future value is equal to our principal is 10,000 times the quantity 1 plus our rate is 0 0.005 raised to our time which is 12. So, defying this, we will get 10,616.78. Thus, the amount will become 10,616.78 pesos after 12 years. Now, how do we find present value or principal at compound interest? To find present value or principal at compound interest, we are going to use this formula. Present value or principal is equal to future value or maturity value over the quantity 1 plus interest rate raised to time or present value or principal is equal to future or maturity value times the quantity 1 plus interest rate raised to negative time. Example number 3. What is the present value of 50,000 pesos due in 7 years if money is worth 10% compounded annually? So, anong hahanapin natin is yung present value. So, ano yung mga given natin sa ating problem? We have 50,000 pesos which is our future or maturity value. Then, we have the interest rate which is 10%. So, 10% must be written in decimal, so we have 0 0.10. At yung 7 years is our time. So, using now the formula of present value, isubstitute lang natin itong ating mga given. So, present value is equal to our future or maturity value is 50,000 over the quantity 1 plus yung rate natin which is 0 0.10 raised to our time which is 7. So, 50,000 divided by the quantity 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to 7 is equal to 25,657.91. Thus, the present value is 25,657.91. 57.91 pesos. Example number 4. How much money should a student place in a time deposit in a bank that pays 1.1% compounded annually so that he will have 200,000 pesos after 6 years? So what is being asked in the problem is the present value or principal. Bakit? Kasi tinatanong kung magkano daw yung perang ide-deposit ng student. Take note that deposited money is the principal or present value. So, what are the given in the problem? We have 200,000 pesos which is our future or maturity value. Then, we have 1.1% which is the interest rate. And 1.1% must be written into decimal, so we have now 0 0.011. And 6 years is the time. So to find for the present or principal value, we use the formula. So just substitute the following given to the formula. So present value or principal is equal to 
our future or maturity value is 200,000 over the quantity 1 plus our rate is 0 0.011 raised to time which is 6. So simplifying this, we will get 187,293.65 Thus, the student should deposit 187,293.65 pesos in the bank. Let's have the last example. What is the interest of 25,000 pesos if invested at 4.5% compounded annually in 3 years. So, ano yung hahanapin natin is the interest. So, what are the given in the problem? We have 25,000 pesos. And 25,000 pesos is our principal or present value. 4.5% is our interest rate. And 4.5% must be written in into decimals. So, pag sinula natin itong 4.5% into decimal, i-move lang natin yung decimal point twice to the left. So, 1, 2. So, we have now 0 0.045. And 3 years now is our time. So, para mahanap natin yung interest, kailangan muna natin hanapin yung future value. Kasi yung formula ng interest ay Interest equals future value or maturity value minus principal. So, kailangan natin munang magkaroon ng value ng maturity value or future value. So, using this formula, we have maturity value is equal to our principal is 25,000 times the quantity 1 plus our rate is 0 0.045. Raised to our time, which is 3. So, simplifying this, we have 28,529.15. So, we can now solve for the interest using this formula. So, compound interest is equal to our future value is 28,529. 0.15 minus our principal or present value is 25,000. Subtracting this two, we have now 3,529.15. Thus, the interest is 3,529.15 pesos. Thank you for watching Mat Aaral. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the YouTube channel. Thank you. Until next time, God bless.